Have you ever known a school superintendent to smile when rockets are going off in a classroom? Welcome to the Sounds of Signs and of minds being opened to new ideas. These students at Indian Head Elementary School got a chance to become rocket scientists for a day. But on this day, they had some extra help from this man, who works on rockets at the Indian Head Naval Service Center. I expect to make a connection with them, really, um, and sort of inspire them uh, to become engineers, scientists, math, just to let them know it's really cool, that science is really cool, and it's fun. And it's really great. They get to actually see it uh, happening. They get to talk to someone who actually does this for a job. Maybe they can see how it applies in real life. These students built their rockets from scratch. They designed them, they constructed them, put fuel in their rockets, set their watches, and waited for blast off. <laughs> then each of these fifth grade scientists recorded their data. If you, if you have a rocket, and it's flat on the front, it won't go that fast because it, all the force is pushing. And if, but, but if you have a, a tip on the, on the tip on the rocket, it'll cut through the air and just go, sh and just go straight. You actually need the top of the part of the rocket to go, make it go faster and farther. But if you take the top off of it, it'll go slower and the distance won't be far. Being a rocket scientist is actually a fun job and that it takes a lot of hard work. The lesson was part of a program called Go Places with Math and Science. It's a partnership between Charles County Public Schools, the College of Southern Maryland, and the Indian Head Naval Service Center. The program is designed to get students interested in careers in technology by exposing them to math and science as early and often as possible. We just want to get them excited about um, careers in science, especially here at the base. Um, it's an initiative to get some homegrown scientists. Uh, people are going to stay around scientists and engineers. And so we're trying to spark that at the elementary level. When I went to college, I didn't know what I wanted to do until my last year senior, really. And I did, don't want that for them. I want them to start getting prepared early on, uh, on their goals and what they like, because everybody should really choose a job that they really like. Many experts believe there will be a high need for engineers and technology-related jobs over the next 10 years. And some of these students could be the ones who occupy those positions. I never had a chance to speak with the real scientists before, and I think it was very cool because this is a, my first time doing that, so I was really surprised, and I'm surprised I knew all that. I was pretty amazed because I didn't think that we have a person that was actually fun and smart. It made me think, like, wow, that's really cool, or maybe I would want to be a rocket scientist when I grow up. Woo! <laughs> yes, yes.